Welcome back to Carol's Corner. My name is Rudy, his name is Carol, and he owns the quarter. Coach, when you are considered the fastest high school player in the nation, you're probably gonna make it into your corner, right? Uh, well, I think you belong there. <laughs> All right. This is a young man by the name of Isaac Taylor Stewart. We had him in the studio not so uh, long ago. And, Coach, we're looking at him uh, as a wide receiver, correct? Yeah. And uh, and, and this is a, a great example of space. So, first of all, what's the key to success on offense? Get your best players the ball in space. Right. Okay, so create space. Well, he's one of the best players. Get him the ball in space and take advantage of that speed. So what he's going to do is going to do it well, Coach, great leverage, is he's going to attack the outside shoulder to widen the defender. So... In doing so, then he's going to cut inside and create space between these two. That if he'd have just run that route, he'd have run right into the inside number three defender here. One, two, three. So he sticks the outside shoulder, cuts inside, creates his own space because of widening him. And then it's going to be soft hands and then yak yards after the catch. Here we go. Let's watch. So sticks him outside, outside stick, widen him, release inside, catch the ball, turn your shoulders, pause, make the first guy miss. Make the first guy miss with a little inside outside stick, and then he's gonna he's just special with the ball in his hand. So let's watch it. It helps to be two steps faster than anybody else chasing you. Make right? the second guy miss, yeah. So we're talking about, you know, we always used to say make the first guy miss, and then everything else is gravy. Well, he makes the first guy miss, makes the second guy miss, and then still falls <laughs> for it. All right, now we should mention he has over 50 D1 offers, probably to be a corner. But we're, uh, because no one throws to him when he's on the field, <laughs> we're, we found another way to highlight his defensive skills, Coach. Yeah. To, uh, take us through what we're looking at here. This is the, he's on the punt return team attacking the punter. Yeah, and uh, let's see, I've coached, I don't know, 37 total years, something <laughs> on all, all, the three stops, and uh, I have never seen this before. I'm sure it's happened, but I've never seen it before. So starting off, he's coming off the edge. Most of the time, guys coming off the edge on a punt are not going to block the kick and you let him go. Bad mistake here. I think he should have kicked out. But anyway, we're going to see it. If we can get ready to pause it just as he's getting ready. He's going to block the kick, but let me show you how he does it. So get ready and pause. Okay, so the key right here is we can see the ball right there, his legs right here, is you don't want to run in to the kicker. That can't be your line. You've got to cut under in front of him and take the ball off because he's there so early. He's got to literally take the ball off of his foot. Okay, so that's the first part of it is he's going to get a punt block. Perfectly done. Let's watch that. Pause. And now the ball went straight up in the air. Look at his eyes. He is tracking the ball. So he's already blocked it. He knows he blocked it. And now he's tra tracking it. Okay, so he's got great vision. So now let's go from there. That's not enough. We're going to keep going. And pause. One hops it. And now he one hops it. So he blocked it. <laughs> he tracked it. He recovered it. And we're not going to stop there because that's... <laughs> Might as well score now, the right? Goal line. So here we go. <laughs> yeah. A trifecta. <laughs> and there's three. And he's in the end zone with a little stick move. Uh, well, obviously, we're seeing why every college in the nation wants him to play football for them. And uh, Coach will finish up. Take us, uh, tell us, where uh, this is again St. Augustine, his old school. Tell us what we're looking at. All right, so he's in the backfield here. And it, it, this is what's called a free release. Some, some teams will check for pass protection and then swing the receiver. They're going to free release him right here. And he should stay on this side of the line of scrimmage. But the defender pulls off to cover him. So he's a smart football player, so he runs by him. So he alters the route. Don't, don't, you know, one of the cardinal rules about uh, uh, running routes is don't let him cover you. So if you've got to adjust accordingly, you've got to adjust. So he's going to make that adjustment, and then he's going to do something special with the ball in his hand. So we get the free release here, and he runs by, pause. So that would not normally have been a, that would have been a swing route that he felt he was trying to cover him, so why let me let him cover Turns me? Run by him, turn it up. Quarterback makes a, I mean, what is that, a 99% completion percentage right. right there, throwing that ball? Nice completion percentage, and now he's going to do something special with the ball. Let's watch. Stick him. Stick him. There's two. Hand down. Yeah. Balance. Keep your feet moving. Drive towards the goal line. Special play. 
50 plus D1 offers. Is he a defensive player or an offensive player? Or could you actually look at a kid like this and say, hey, we'll try him on both sides of the ball? You know, uh, I, I guarantee what's going to happen on this one. He'll wind up playing one side, but there might be a, a bare knuckle fight between the DB coach and the receiver coach to determine who gets him because they're going to have an argument that the head coach is going to have to settle because both guys are going to want him. All right, that is Isaac Taylor Stewart, and that is this week's Carol's Corner. We'll see you next week.